Hey there friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Alderon and I are here today to talk to you about a book that we are just absolutely so thrilled to have read and so excited to talk about today. And I know I say this a lot, and it is in July, it's the end of July, so we're we're more than six months through the year, but I know this book is going to end up on my top five at least favorite books of the year. It was absolutely amazing. And it was another one of those books that like I expected it to be good. I didn't expect it to rock my world as much as it did. So the book that I'm talking about is All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby. All the Sinners Bleed. Now I put this book on hold immediately as soon as I heard it was coming out because I had read um, his previous book Razorblade Tears and just absolutely loved it. Broke my heart into a million pieces and then stitched it back together again. One of those kind of books. If you have read Razorblade Tears then and you enjoyed that you are going to absolutely love this book as well. If you if you haven't read Razorblade Tears you are in for a treat still because this book is going to blow you away. Now, that that's not his Razorblade Tears is not Cosby's first book. He did write a couple other books as well. I haven't read them though, so I can't really attest to how good they are, but if they're anything like this book and his previous book, then absolutely fantastic, both of them, I'm sure. Um so this book, I do want to say there's there's a lot to talk about with this book. This is not a fun, light, easy read. This book has a lot of darkness in it. This book has a lot of violence in it. But most importantly, this book has a lot of truth in it. So I will just say out right up front that this book is going to probably piss a lot of people off because this author does not beat around the bush. He does not play games with you. He just tells you exactly how it is. And he is writing from a the point of view of this main character, whose name is Titus, who is a sheriff in Charon County, Virginia. And he has been the first black sheriff to ever hold that title in this county. So he is very, Cosby is very, very truthful and honest about some of the really awful racial things that go on not only in the South, but really everywhere, right? And he just lays that out there for people to to understand and to read and to meet with. And whether it makes you uncomfortable or makes you upset or sad, it is the truth. And sometimes the truth is a really hard thing to take, right? But this book isn't just, I don't want to say that it's all doom and gloom, right? It is a very heavy book. It has a lot of, like I said, a lot of really deep, um, intense themes. But the main draw of this book, I think, is the writing itself, which I found to be some of the best I've ever read. So I thought Razorblade Tears was really well written, but this book is just absolutely phenomenal in terms of the writing. The It is just so sharply paced. The characters are just absolutely wonderful, so fleshed out, three-dimensional, really intriguing interesting characters as well as being very flawed characters as well even our main uh, our main character Titus so what is the actual what is the story here what is going on so like I said Titus is the first black sheriff in Sharon County Virginia um, this author is from Virginia as well which I thought is very interesting um, so he's Titus is the first black sheriff he's held this office for a year um, on the anniversary of his year of being sheriff there is a, um, a shooting at the school. So a black student has killed a white teacher and his officers end up killing that student. Now, Titus used to be an FBI agent. So he knows about a lot of the darkness in the world and he, and he knows all about that, but he hasn't really had to deal with a lot of murder or crime in his, in his county um, until now. There's only been, I think, the book says like two murders in the history of of you know what they know what they know about anyway um but when they when he starts to investigate what happened with the shooting he finds that this teacher that was killed was committing unspeakably horrible acts against black kids murdering um all kinds of just really horrible things and then he has to just uncover this big conspiracy that's been going on in the town who else was involved in this and then dealing with the with the rising tension between you know two groups of people which you've got these really 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 um strictly conservative um white people in the town 
versus a lot of the black people in town and him trying to defuse all of the tension growing between these because of the shooting that has happened while trying to also uncover, you know, these, these murders and that, you know, from this teacher that everybody loved, nobody would have even imagined that he could have done that. So yeah, there is a lot of darkness in this book, but like I said, it is so well written and just so, I keep wanting to use the word sharp because that's just what comes to mind. Like it's just the pacing is perfect. The writing is eloquent and beautiful, even when it's talking about really horrible things. And it's just, it's just an amazing, amazing book. And it has a really hopeful tone in it as well. So it's not all like, you're not going to read it and then get to the end and just be so depressed for the rest of your life after having read it. It's not that kind of book. I mean, it is sad, yeah, and there are horrible things that happen, but it does have a hopeful end as well. It does have a hopeful overall feel to it. Um, but like I said, he does not beat around the bush. He does not hide the ugly truths that sometimes happen in this country. And this book is all the better for it. It is absolutely fantastic. So it's definitely in the thriller mystery kind of category, but honestly, because of all the themes and everything it deals with, I would really probably even more consider it to be like literary fiction than anything else. Um, a thriller or a mystery is something that I consider to be light and fun and I can read it on the beach or, you know, not have to sink a whole lot of thought into it, um, even if you're trying to untangle the web. And this one, there's a lot. There's a lot of food for thought here. And as great as this book is, it's going to stay with you for a while when you're done reading it. You're going to be thinking about it. You're going to be mulling it over. You're going to be thinking about these characters for quite a while um, once you're done reading it, which is wonderful. So I highly recommend this. Whether or not you've read Razor Blade Tears and you love that book, give this one a shot. You will not regret it. It is definitely one of the best written books I've read so far this year. All the Sinners Bleed. Well, that's what we've got for you guys today. I hope that you are really excited to read this book. Um, if so, please feel free to come check it out from Farmington Community Library. Um, and also please give this video a like. I really appreciate it, friends. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of the day.